for joining us on To Your Health with TGMC. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and on this episode, we will be discussing the TGMC Community Sports Institute and its impact on our community. We have with us Stan Gravois. He's the director of the TGMC Healthy Lifestyle Center and the director of the Community Sports Institute. Thank you so much for being with us, Stan. Thanks, Rhonda, for having me here. All right, well, we're anxious to learn more about Community Sports Institute and what all you're doing. So first, let's get started with you telling us a little bit about yourself and your role at TGMC. Actually, my role is director of the Healthy Lifestyle Center. I've been at Terrebonne General for about seven years, but the sub-department of the Healthy Lifestyle Center, which is our biggest, is the Community Sports Institute, and that's basically where we got started. Okay, so let's dive right in and talk about the Community Sports Institute and what the impact is, and what the goal is. I know we affect a lot of student athletes, students, and parents. So tell us a little bit more about exactly what it is. Again, we started this about seven years ago, and the initial stage of doing all of this was to make sure we had certified athletic trainers in each of the schools in Terrebonne Parish. So that was the initial initiative, you know, when we were doing things. Uh, going forward from there, we've sort of just tried to make sure we're there for, for a fitness component, for a wellness component in our area. And we sort of revolve around three main moniker words, and that is education, prevention, and care. We're trying to make sure that we educate the community to stay well, that we are there for prevention of injuries through education, and that we take care of any kind of injuries if they do happen to occur. It starts in our school system, but it also goes on to a lot of nonprofit civic organizations and anybody in our community who may want some assistance. Okay, so why was the Community Sports Institute created? Was there a need in our community for it? Definitely, again, and I think that revolved around the certified athletic trainers. The mm -hmm. schools in our area did not have full-time uh, employees there who were there to take care of them. I know a lot of people out there, at least of my age or my generation, they didn't even <clears throat> know what, the, what a certified athletic trainer was. So mm -hmm. now it's commonplace in all of the schools and they take care of those schools. But it also has sort of moved on to things like Terrebonne Parish Recreation and the Homer Terrebonne Soccer Association, Girls on the Run, all of these organizations that are trying to do nice things with our younger generation, trying to keep them well in our communities. We're right there to partner with them, making sure that we're a resource to help them along the way. How many community partners do you have and how many students do you impact? You know, what happens is a lot of people don't realize there are six school systems in Terrebonne Parish. Obviously, you have the public school system, you have the home of Thibodeau Diocese, mm -hmm. you have the Living Word Ministry, you have the First Baptist Ministry, you have the Episcopal Ministry, uh, you also have Harvest Baptist Cathedral. So you have a lot of different school systems. That's about 23,000 kids in Terrebonne Parish each year who are affected by what we do by trying to educate again and trying to do those things to make sure they understand how to stay well. It, it's, it's a strange situation, Rhonda, and I know I work at Terrebonne General Medical Center, but our job is to keep people out of Terrebonne General Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Our job is to keep them well because that's just the way healthcare works today. So again, in the school systems, we're talking again over 23,000 kids. That's a lot of kids. It is. So that means y'all are at a lot of events with these kids. Tell us a little bit more about that and how many. Yeah, have. you know, it, it, it's unfair to sort of say what we've done in the last year related to COVID because there mm -hmm. have been a lot of cancellations and postponements. But in a normal year, again, in my seven years there, we've kind of averaged that we're at 1,200 events a year. That's anything from ball games to runs, meaning 5Ks and 3K runs that are out there, to soccer tournaments that the Homa Ter Terrebonne uh, Association might be holding. Uh, it's a little bit of everything, all-star games for Terrebonne Parish Recreation. So uh, if we can be there for these nonprofits, because again, we're, we're, we're trying to make sure that we're taking care of those entities who are taking care of those kids in turn, mm -hmm. uh, we, we try and be there. So about 1,200 is the average per year. 
And uh, it, cre it creeps up every year too, Rhonda. It never goes down, it mm -hmm. always creeps up every year. They see you out there and they want you at more, more, more. So Correct. we're talking about nights, we're talking about weekends, we're talking about early mornings. Yeah, initially we started wearing the really bright yellow and a lot of people kind of identify us by that, but you will see somebody there, one of our certified athletic trainers, whether it be eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning or nine o'clock at night for a high school ball game, they're there, so the hours are not etched in stone. It's, it's a very fluid situation. It certainly is. So what kind of resources does Community Sports Institute provide? Everything from, again, the certified athletic trainers who are trained, most of them, it's six years in training, and they're mm -hmm. sort of like that first line of care for the kids in the school systems and with some of these, again, outlying recreation departments. But it's much more than that. You have CPR. We provide CPR to all of the coaches and a lot of the physical education teachers in Terrebonne Parish school systems. Again, I use that plural systems, not just one, because we take care of all of them. Of course, at TGMC, we also have something called Sudden Impact, where we do a good mm -hmm. job of having kids coming in and working with Troop C, our local state police. and. Uh, and with the nurses who work in our ER, and, and they're taught safe driving practices along the way. Uh, we do other things such as uh, impact testing, which is concussion baseline testing. So every child who is participating in a sport that has some type of uh, contact, we make sure that we baseline test those kids so that they have that on file if they ever receive a blow to the head going forward during their high school career. Mm -hmm. So it's little things. And listen, we're always learning. So each year we pick up a few things that we add to the curriculum, so to speak. So it's always going to be an ongoing thing of making sure that we're doing the best we can to take care of the kids in our community. Mm -hmm. And this resource wasn't there previously, No, correct? it was not. So. And, and, and people do sometimes see sports in the moniker. You know, they see Community Sports Institute, mm -hmm. and they think it's primarily about sports. That's not the case. I mean, we're there for the marching bands. We're there for the dance right. teams. We're there for everybody. So. It's not just a situation where it's sports, although obviously, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of this got started because we have certified athletic trainers in the schools. How is the program funded? Do the schools pay for it? Not a dime, not a dime. We have well, not, that's... from any of the school systems, they don't pay anything for the services from these certified athletic trainers. And on top of that, we actually sponsor a lot of things for the schools, a lot of their fundraisers. We're there to be sponsors for them. And again, it's of no cost to them whatsoever. Now on our end, it gets a little tricky sometimes. We mm -hmm. certainly don't have an unlimited budget to do these things, but we're very fortunate at Terrebonne General to have the TGMC Foundation. It's basically our booster club. A lot of these high schools may have an athletic booster club or a band booster club or a technology booster club. We have the TGMC Foundation. They are a wonderful organization who is basically an outside fundraiser. And we go to them and say, can you support these impact tests that we're giving all of these kids? Can you support things that are happening at some of these schools when they need sponsorships to make their athletic department work or whatever? And the TGMC Foundation has been our, uh, really our prime source of giving us those funds to make things work. That's amazing. Some very caring community members they are. Like and giving back to the community. They're not employees of Terrebonne General. You know, they mm -hmm. are just some people in our community who are civic minded and they want to do the right thing. And, and we're very grateful. Yes. Can you share with us the financial contribution that the Community Sports Institute has made through the years? Ironically, that... just recently, we had to make our every three year presentation to the Terrebonne Parish Public School System. And when we did, we compiled in the last six and a half years the contributions, and those contributions are well over. Now, this is just not the public schools. This is everybody. Mm -hmm. When we went to the public schools, we told them just about them. But to everybody, it's, it's well over $2.5 million in the last six and a half years with a pandemic situation. So remember, that probably eased up our contributions money-wise just a little bit because there weren't as many events. But just last year, it was over $500,000. So we feel very proud of what we're doing as far as these contributions, because again, it's not like we're asking people to pay us for this. It's not, 
it, it's not necessarily a paid service. It's a contribution to our community, and that's right. why we we're, we're well, doing it's it. an investment in our in our future. That's I mean, exactly our, the right. kids, the students in our community are the future of our community. We so. are a big leg of the outreach of Terrebonne, uh, excuse me, Terrebonne General Medical mm -hmm. Center. We are that part of the hospital which is trying to help the community along with what you do, marketing, things like that. We're one of those cogs that is trying to be in the community and helping the community. Yes, you certainly do a lot. We see you out there in those bright yellow shirts for sure. So what are some other things that the Community um, Sports Institute does, not only for schools, but for the community? Yeah, you know, I mentioned CPR and I did want to say this too. It's not just about providing those services for the schools. We work with girls on the run because obviously mm -hmm. their coaches need to be CPR certified. There's a local group in town, a nonprofit called Ascent. They work with at-risk kids. We want to help them. They have to be CPR certified. They come into us. And it's kind of new right now for us because we have been uh, American Heart Association certified for the longest time. We're sort of making a transition to Red Cross so although we are still teaching the basics of CPR and first aid, it's kind of a little different. The curriculum's different, so it's new and exciting to us, and that's probably our new thing on the table right now, is making sure that we have Red Cross uh, pretty much solidified, and uh, we've started doing that since January 1st of this year, and it's gone well so far. Always learning something new. Always. Those are essential skills, really, to have, to know CPR. I mean, it could save someone's life. And I mean, out it there is. in a sports arena. I think a students. lot of people know this, or some may not, but I'll share it, that I, I, obviously I worked in the school system for 29 years where mm -hmm. I was a retiree. In my 29 years of working in the school system where I taught and coached, I was CPR certified one time in 29 years, and that's because I was a lifeguard over at the YMCA in the early 90s. That's the only reason. <laughs> now that's not the case. When your children are going to school, you have somebody there who can take care of them, not only from an intellectual standpoint, but can also take care of them if there's ever any kind of health care problem at the school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I enjoy being part of that, no doubt. Well, you certainly have made a huge impact in the last six years. Well, I think we have because our certified athletic trainers are special people too, and they're willing mm -hmm. to help right there in teaching these CPR classes. So it's sort of a team effort of everybody at TGMC. Well, great. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to share about the community sports? No, we, we, listen, we're going to keep on, especially, hopefully, you know, everybody's got their finger crossed that this pandemic is kind yes. of coming to a, you know, we see that light at the tunnel. With that being said, uh, it's time to kind of get uh, rejuvenated again, a little bit of a rebirth. And that's how we feel in our department. We feel like there are other things that we could do in the future to help out there. And a lot of times our response to what we is needed out there comes from those entities, those nonprofits, those school systems. So again, we're working with them. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, every day is a new situation, a new learning experience, and, and we enjoy it continued success with the program. I mean, it's certainly making an impact and thank you for all you and the trainers and everybody over there is doing. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. The Community Sports Institute continues to serve as a vital resource for the community and is just one more way TGMC leads our community. We are excited to watch the program continue to grow and impact students, their families and the overall community. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's episode of To Your Health. We'll see you right back here next week. <music>